What's going on everybody and welcome back to Comic Breakdown. In this video we are jumping into Avengers issue number 66. This will be Avengers Assemble Part 8. With this multiversal war raging on multiple fronts, the modern and prehistoric Avengers bottled the multiversal masters while Mephisto and a legion of his variants fought the assembled Avengers fighting them at the God Quarry. And then you have Doom Supreme of the Masters also launching an army of his own variants in a bid to take power for his own. And while our Avengers believe that this battle may be coming to an end, there is still one final battle that they must overcome. So make sure you guys have subscribed to the channel, make sure that you like this video, and with that being said, Let's dive into this breakdown. Alright gang, we are picking up at the Genesis Point Earth 616. We have the kid Thanos and we have Mephisto. Thanos is letting it be known that Ghost Goblin has fallen, Black Skull stripped of his symbiote, and King Killmonger had his face beaten in by the Iron Fist. And then there is Dark Phoenix and Doom, they seem to have fled the timeline completely. But Thanos is staying behind for knowledge. He stayed behind so he could gather all of this, this was the point of him staying and even coming to begin with. But Thanos is telling Mephisto that his grand plan to rewrite Earth's history has been an utter failure. But Mephisto's not necessarily devastated with this failure. Being the king of hell, he has come to learn to always expect pitiful results from humankind. Even then, they manage to surprise you in their capacity for woeful disappointment. But Mephisto leaves, leaving the young titan a good tidings telling him that he wishes him well on his quest for knowledge. Mephisto is going to take on the Avengers by himself. This is where he walks into a portal, this portal taking him to the God Quarry. But when he arrives, he definitely has some people to answer to. That of course being the Council of Red. And while he snidely replies to them saying that he apologizes, but he's not sure what he has done. What we see right here of the Council of Red, this is all that remains. The others had fallen in battle. Mephisto of 616, he lied to all the others. He said the resistance would be minimal, but there are more Avengers here than they ever expected. Mephisto only cares about the cracks in the ground. Quite the army, but such a heavy impact. The cracks are forming in the bedrock of the God Quarry, and now that Doom has come with an army of his own, those cracks will spread. It will do this until the ground is so broken that he can shatter it with his own fists. And then, at last, he can unleash what lies beneath. This is when the Council of Red let him know that he's not doing anything, and they start to give him a beatdown. But Mephisto turns on the Council of Red, and this turns into a freaking bloodbath. Mephisto of 616 he cuts, he stabs, he smashes, and even as their bodies pile up around him, their blood burns fresh, he finds the massacre of his other selves oddly unsatisfying. These are not the people that he wishes to be slaughtering, but the council has been weakened by its war with the Avengers, while he has only grown stronger, empowered by the ravaging of Earths, siphoning the essence from each of these ruined universes, all for this moment. This is where we see the blood and the guts of all the other Mephistos, they start to be absorbed into 616, and Mephisto has just turned himself into the freaking Megazord of all Mephistos. Now having this immense amount of power, he begins to crack the ground. Off in the distance, we have the war that is still raging. Our Avengers are fighting off this Doom army, 
But our goddesses of thunder, they hear something in the distance. There is something big. A new storm is brewing and they know that something is coming. With Ant-Man making his way through the battlefield, the god of hammers gets in communication. They need every Thor that they can get out here right now. But he is letting Ant-Man know that they found the last Mephisto. He is chasing them down everybody needs to be ready for his arrival because they are going to need more avengers this is where we see a 20 story tall mephisto he's coming and he is taking down the helicarrier that is the caracor's main base with one fail swoop he cuts this massive aircraft right in half this is when Ant-Man gets in contact with Avenger Prime, letting him know that they just lost a Carol Carrier, and they have a Celestial-sized Mephisto and a Doom the Living Planet that are out here just decimating the battlefield, hoping that Avenger Prime has something up his sleeve. Right now, he is a little preoccupied facing against Doom Supreme. And while he struggles a little bit in this battle, he lets Ant-Man know that more Avengers have already been called. All that he asks them is that they keep an open mind about some of them. This is where we have Kazar come in, reporting for duty. They haven't seen him since he was lost in time, back in Avengers issue number 50. But while he was lost in time, he found something. He found a new power, the Power Cosmic. And this isn't the only Avenger that is showing up for this battle, because he is the Herald for Galactus. The Planet Eater has arrived, and as of now, an honorary Avenger. Galactus telling Khazar that he said that there was going to be something that he could devour. Promised the meal of a lifetime if they traveled through time to this strange land. And Khazar points him directly to doom the living planet. But that's not all that's there. This is where we have Gorilla Man. Former Avengers Mountain Head of Security, and he is now looking to reapply, bringing along with him the Russian Super Bear. He also brought just a little bit more than that, because right now they are riding in your friendly neighborhood Dead Celestial. But this thing is no longer dead, it is now very much alive, and it says to call it Deathlock. This is where we see this Celestial just cleaning up the battlefield of all these Doom variants. With a single blast of its gun, it wipes away half the battlefield. Mephisto still focused on breaking the ground. All of our heroes, they prepare. They get ready for battle. The Goddesses of Thunder, they all pick up a Mjolnir. The lightning running through their bodies. And we hear the war cry echoed through the battlefield. Avengers Assemble. And that will be the end of this issue. You know, like I've said before, I, I take this comic not as some grand, amazing, fantastic, earth-breaking writing. I take this for what it is. It's a lot of flashing lights, it's a lot of smashing, it's a lot of destroying, it's individuals showing up super powered and just laying down some haymakers. This is all punch and killing. And so if you look at that comic in that aspect, if you're not looking for something that's super dramatic or super deep, it doesn't have huge substance in the writing. If you're looking for something that's just visually a lot of fun, while also pretty interesting the characters that they bring into the fold, this is 100% the comic for you. I would consider it mind-numbing entertainment. You don't have to read super deep into it, you don't really even have to know what happened prior to this story. This is just one giant little event where we are having the most epic battle to ever happen. And every time you think this might be on the precipice of ending, something new comes along. Something new is brought in. Mephisto turning into thousands of himself, absorbing them all into him and becoming one giant Mephisto. But there is something that he is after, even with this power, the power underneath this ground, the power of the God Quarry. 
That is what he seeks. If he gets this power, he could decimate the battlefield regardless of anybody that they bring to the table. With only two more issues left, we are on the verge of this battle reaching its true climax. So let me know your thoughts, let me know your theories, if you would like to get completely caught up on everything going on with this event. Be sure to check out the link in my description, as well as the top of this video. It will get you completely caught up on everything going on with Avengers Assemble. If you would like to support the channel, you can always do so by joining the channel membership. Much like Patreon having multiple different tiers. From $1 to $50, from loyalty badges to getting comics every single month. Not only does this help out the channel tremendously, but you are getting tons of perks in the process. Now, if you are unable to do that, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, like this video, hit that notification bell, and with that being said, until the next breakdown.